Hey guys, welcome to Fallout 4. I've been having some some keyboard issues here. Alright, so, um, picking up where I left off last time, um, I came up this letter here from the theater, and I wanted to explore what's up here. Um, there's an overdue book. Um, we'll totally make you worry, this worthless crap. Once we get out of here again, and I understand more what's going on. So, so we kind of killed this guy. Um, okay. This guy who stored a bunch of skulls in the attic of a theater. Yeah, that's not shady at all. <laughs> all right, what, what we got here? Um, not much. Lots of Nuka tickets. A thousand one. It's oh, not bad. And a lunchbox. I never really build them bottle cap mines, but I guess that's fine. Okay. That's it up here. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I've been in there. I think uh, the next stage is going to be... Because we checked uh, the the changing rooms back here, I think the next step is gonna be the elevator that isn't functioning. Well, isn't that a surprise? Um. Hmm. All right, so no elevator. That's sad. Oh, what we got here? Just some bottle caps. I forgot these. Well, 20 bottle caps is 20 bottle caps. Well, the thing with the elevator is really frustrating. Guess I have to get out again. Hmm. I'll find this guy. He, he, he is somewhere. So I, I have no doubt in my mind that I will find him. And then I will kick his ass. Again. He didn't seem too much of a challenge what we're hearing is the roller coaster I guess reload I've been here yeah, yeah, yeah. lots of radiation it's the kitty coaster right that's going all around there let's I cannot read what it what it says. But I guess that's fine too. Oh yeah, King Cola's Castle Tower. Castle Tower? Alright. What could we find here? It's a terminal and a chem station. And that's an exit again. I, I will I will investigate it. It's a safe. Oh, Tunnel keys, yes please. And the exit to Nuka World. That's where we came from. Also, I can go upstairs. It's just some food. I, up that junk. I should not have taken that, right? So much junk. Anything interesting? That's the big question. Not really maybe here and then Rachel's terminal wait who's Rachel let's check it ooh I haven't done that in a while <laughs> once it's not freed has won so it's not slits uh, it cannot be claim Cannot be woods. Cannot be spark or scout. It could be flesh. Nope. Then it's gotta be seen. Alright, what we got? Let's open the safe first. I could hack the safe and you uh, or you know break the safe and get more XP. Yeah. Anyways, it's open now. Alright, what we got? Rachel, I got the part. 
I got the princess cherry part, technically dad thinks. I got an internship working with the beverage years. At least I got a job working at Nuka World, which means I can wait and get to know some of them before applying. I mean, I love acting, but I still want to put that rather expensive organic chemistry degree to good use. My boyfriend Oswald and the rest of the gang passed out here uh, in the tower after they threw me a party. All of us got drunk and came up with this ridiculous plan to take over the park if the war ever got bad. Like nuclear bad. We all agreed, but instead of shaking on it, uh, we did a round of shots. Here's to 2077. I hope it's a hell of a year. It was a hell of a year. She got that. We've got our defenses set up for now and things are starting to look a little bit better. Thanks to my background, I've sort of become the unofficial doctor of our raggedy little bunch. Oswald has been so supportive and he's continued to manage this whole crisis like a real leader. I'm so proud of him. Hey, wait a second, Oswald, isn't that the guy whom we just met? Alright, alright. Um, whatever that horrible radiation storm did to us, everyone is having bad reactions. Um, but there are also others literally dying from it. I wish I could do more to help everyone, but I'm an organic chemist, not a surgeon. I don't have uh, the heart to tell people that, that as they are dying in my arms. Okay, so I just keep it to myself and try to give them hope. The Affliction. My good friend Fran succumbed to the affliction a few days ago, and I've just been a wreck. Dean and Oswald boarded her up in a house before she tried to attack anyone, which I don't think I could have taken. Oswald stayed the night up here and just held me while I cried. I tried to apologize to him for falling apart like this when he needed me to be strong, but I knew her since elementary school and I couldn't hold it any longer. I hate this place. She wanted to stay here. Magic is real? There was a huge attack this week that pushed us uh, all the way back to the castle gate. Just when um, we were about to fall back to the theater, a bunch of the afflicted started crawling out of their houses and started helping us out. But as our attackers were retreating, my body froze when I saw a stray, a stray bullet hit Dean and it looked like he was dead, but Oswald did something. This glow came out of his body, flowing like a wave. Suddenly, Dean started breathing again, after the attack ended. Oh my god, after the attack ended, we all looked at Oswald, who started muttering something about using real magic. Most of us didn't know what to think. Me? I don't care what the hell you call it. Maybe we can use it to cure the affliction. Either way, I gave him a huge kiss for saving Dean's life. Alright. We've tried everything we can think of, exhausted every option, not even Oswald's powers can seem to stop the affliction. There are only a handful of us left and we are running out of time. I don't know what w will get us first, the raiders who moved into Nuka Town or the affliction. So that's it. I've talked it over with Oswald and he's going to stay in Kitty Kingdom to keep everyone safe while I go to find a cure. I felt awful leaving everyone behind, especially Oswald, but I really have no other options. I'm going to uh, head over to the town of Brett Burton near the park and start there. That's a huge gamble, but it better pay off. Um, Interesting, isn't it? Court cast. There you go, King Cola, Leo Mendoza. Rachel was Princess Sherry. Okay, cool. Other cast. Oswald was the headliner of the magic show. Ah, that actually makes sense and Rachel was his assistant. So, yeah. Also, she was a cola clown. Alright, cool. Now we got a little more background about these guys' story. Let's take all of this. Some pre-war money, and the rest I will just leave here. All right, all right. Let's leave. It was interesting, wasn't it? I don't know where we go from here. 
All right, all right. This is... I don't even know where this is. That's King Cola's cord. Hang on, have I been in there? I don't know. We'll find out soon enough. Nah, that doesn't look familiar. Although all the toilet stalls are open. <laughs> That's usually what I do, right? Yeah, well, of course it is. No, that's the side entrance to the theater. So I have been here. Damn it. <laughs> Just when you hope you got him. I think he fled through the employee tunnels. That's that's what I imagine happened there. Yeah, shut it with your radiation shit. But the employee tunnels were somewhere else, so I need to go find them again. This is where I came up. This is the bakery. Wait, what? This? Something that they show is down there. I don't even know what that means. Hmm. Okay. Let's let's keep on searching. I have other options. Like this house, for example. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out very soon. An empty Nuka Cola machine? That's outrageous. Unacceptable. Have I been here before? Oh, I have not been here before. That guy just took a little while to activate. Okay. <laughs> Whew. There's a life preserver. Maybe that still help. Um, mud fruit. Nope. Dead people. Nope. Mannequins. Also not helpful. It sounds like there is something going on upstairs. Yeah. Hello. What? Did you just try to come down the ladder thinking you can you can just do this? That's not how that works. Hmm, two stim packs. Yes, please. Uh, that thing on your wrist be clicking that much? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, so oh wait. So this is where you can get a little bit of an overview. So there's the Ferris wheel. Um, there's a ghoul. Let's, Let's see if we can take him out from up here. That cost me fusion core. All right. We'll have McCready just, you know, come after us. Whoa! I need to run into the traffic. Giddy a buttercup hat. I'm not going to take that now. Wait, where is it? Oh, in your face, my friend. Tis. Calmax. Times two sneak attack multiplier. Well, that's an interesting, interesting aid. I'm not sure I've seen that before. Probably have, and you know. Just ignored it. You need to be careful. If these cars hit you, you're screwed. Whoa, my friend. My friend. Did you just... Did 
Did you just hit me? I just wasted... That's for hitting me. Okay. Whoa. These cars can actually hurt you. I, I had that happen to me before. So, that was a bit too much, I guess. Or not enough. It was not enough. Got it. Cryo mine. Wait. That's a lot of them. Let's get off. Let's get rid of this guy first. Um, I need to get a little bit of a distance here. I underestimated that part. <laughs> uh, see what I mean? Irradiated fat man? Oh my god! <laughs> 50% uh, 50 points additional radiation damage uh, It is a nice little item. I'm never going to use it Shut up Oswald I will get you and I will shove that fat man up your ass Yeah, probably not going to do that, but you know what I mean It's one of the entrances. Yeah. Whoa. Damn. He's right there. Oh, shit. Come on, come, come on, come on. Dude, I keep shooting at you. What's wrong with you? Okay, this is getting a little bit out of hand here. I keep missing this guy. All right, Martyr's reinforced combat armor. Sounds good, I'll take it. The door. Employee tunnels. I have the tunnel keys. Let's get in there and, and see if we can find Oswald and, you know, kick his ass. But before I do that, uh, let me take a right away. That's a very long tunnel. Okay. This is a barred section. There's a terminal. This is a... <sighs> the Devolt family to the Happy Kingdom. The Devolt family. I don't know what's going on down here. These tunnels look all the same, don't they? Oh my god. This place, uh, place is huge. 
Yeah, I saw the terminal. I will get to it. Don't, don't, don't nag me. All right, let's do it. Uh, of course not. Drum roll, please. All right, what we got? It actually happened. The enemy has finally dropped the bombs on us. Thank God we had the plan and everyone stuck to it. We couldn't talk sense into all of the park's visitors, but we were able to grab a few out of a stampede and take refugees into the employee tunnels. Oswald and Rachel did a pretty good job stocking up down here. We've got preserved food and seeds, water from the pump system, tools, extra lumber, just about everything really, except for weapons. That was Mitchell's job and we don't know if he survived. We just gotta keep calm until this and ride out. All right. It's been about a week since the bombs fell and we'd all written Mitchell off for the dead. Then he comes rolling up in a semi half full of guns, explosives, food, medicine, chemicals, you name it. Said he'd been busy gathering the rest of what uh, we'd need to fortify Kitty Kingdom. He had some blood on his shirt, but when Oswald started to ask him about it, we all told him to just leave it alone. I mean, Mitchell's a crazy bastard, but right now, I'd uh, rather have him on our side. I certainly wouldn't want to go up against him. We blew up the service tunnel passages, connecting the other areas of the park. If things don't calm down in another few weeks, we'll head outside and barricade the gates. They did have a plan. These kids were, yeah, you know, prepared and shit. The fighting outside has died down a bit and we've barricaded the gates to the Kitty Kingdom. While we were finishing up, a weird storm started to blow in over the horizon to the east. We barely had time to finish up, and when it hit, it hit hard. I've seen all sorts of storms, but this one was different, almost like a tornado with green lightning arcing through the sky. We all ended up talk uh, taking shelter where we could, but a few people just got sucked into the vortex and were just gone. We were trapped for hours while the crazy storm passed over. It must have picked up the fallout from Boston, because everyone has been sick for weeks now and quite a few have died. Those of us who, ha who haven't are changing. Um, the preparedness videos never said anything about this. You know, preparedness videos. Duck and cover. We've been alive here for over a hundred years now. The change has affected all of us. It seems as though our bodies have adopted uh, to the radiation. Our features have become twisted and distorted, but we no longer felt it, uh, felt ill. Unfortunately, it seems like this change has affected some of us worse than others. First it was Mitchell, now Herman. Uh, they aren't speaking anymore and they seem to just shuffle around growling. If we try to hold them back, they start to get violent. We've tried everything we can think of, uh, talking to them, medication, every possible remedy for cold or illness, but whatever this affliction is, we can't seem to beat it. Rachel's convinced that it has to be an illness of some sort, the rest of us just call it the affliction. I pray we find a solution before it takes us all. Yeah. Unless you're suddenly into collecting junk, you might want to skip this. Alright, we're going to explore this a little bit further in the next episode. I just had a look at the clock. Uh, we've been a little bit over it, but no no worries. I think the, the, the tunnels uh, promise to be some exploration uh, target, so we're going to do that in two days. Thanks for watching, I hope you did enjoy it, and uh, let me know what you think. i see you in two days. Until then, I'm Stordier. Bye-bye. <laughs>